I believe that this might be one of the most important discussions in modern skincare science. When we deal with aging, we're not merely dealing with the number of candles that you've had on your cake. We're also dealing with the stress. The skin is much more than a barrier. When stress becomes chronic, this connection becomes a vulnerability. That's when cortisol turns from helpful to harmful. It slows healing, it breaks down collagen, and creates an inflammatory condition that silently erodes skin quality. It's what we now know as inflammaging. And inflammaging as a topic is incredibly you know, important. Skincare professionals encounter this all the time in practice. When people arrive with dull skin, with skin that looks tired, unresponsive, in some cases over-responsive, then it's not necessarily from poor skincare. It's about poor lifestyle. Lifestyle choices are so important. Getting good quality sleep is important. It is your emotional burnout. The pressure of just trying to keep up with everything. It's so tough nowadays. And the skin holds that imprint of stress. If we don't address this uh, long-term stress, then we shorten the skin's uh, uh, biological lifespan. And as a result, it stops regenerating, repairing, and defending the body. We protect the future of the skin, and we stand on the shoulders of vitamin A, C, and E. It's so important to maintain that part of our philosophy, because everything works so much better when you have that synergy. And it's not just skin care, that's when it becomes true skin longevity. Inflammaging is not just an interesting word. It's the silent saboteur of skin longevity. And dealing with it and addressing all the problems is the future of modern skincare science, not just for environment, but I mean across the whole industry.